Welcome to our third video on our game Ranger's Quest. This past week was spent fine tuning some of the mechanics we want to implement in Ranger's Quest. We took a survey on Facebook and Twitter on whether or not to implement damage pop-ups, and the result was yes. Implement them. Here is a sneak peek of what our damage pop-ups look like in our game for standard damage. We will also have effects for critical hits and elemental attacks such as fire and poison attacks. While creating the damage pop-ups, we noticed a slight difference in our bow attack clip, when the arrow was actually instantiated versus when the release of the arrow was in the animation. We moved the release of the arrow back two frames, less than a tenth of a second, but it makes a big difference in the feel of the animation, more lifelike. We also hit 50 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thank you all very much. The past month has been huge, with our 30 day challenge, announcement of the game, and the start of these developer logs. Stay tuned, as we continue to grow, your support motivates us to keep doing bigger and better things. The next week, we want to create the questing system. This will really drive the story and progress the player through our different levels and unravel the secret of what happened at the player's village. In October, we want to release a PC alpha version of our alternate gameplay, which does not affect the storyline. Thank you for watching, and have a good week.